Esky cards. Postcards are very collectible. And I got a box of World War II um, Esky cards. Now, Esky cards were in Esquire magazine. Esquire magazine was a magazine for men back then, World War II. And they had a lot of different subject matters. Like they had outdoor life, which are just drawings of what you'd see in outdoor life. Um, these are the bowl outdoor life cards. Um, there's different ones here. Nothing too risque, as we'll get to in a minute. But just outdoor life, and these appeal to... There are, there are postcard collectors, and a lot of people collect them. There's not a lot of money in them, but as you can see, I have a lot of them here. Now, these... This particular set is this a full set of six. If you can see, they're dogs by Waxman. These are the famous dogs that he photographed. And they had a set of six. These came out in 1940. This is before the war. You can see a Dalmatian there. German Shepherd. Oh, that's a cute. That dog looks mean. And of course, everyone's favorite. I don't know where the other hundred are, but this is one of the 101 Dalmatians. See, these are all these these cards are all unsent. So, but we know we do know the dates on them because of the dates down here of 1940. These are collectible for postcard people and photographs as well. Now you also have different post postcards like this little the Scotsman Holiday by the Sea. You can see the Scotsman. This actual card has been sent. It has a postmark on it from 1938. Um, are having a good time there. And they are Scotsman Edna sent something to her father. I love that. There's no address. You just send to the city that they were at. 1938, of course, that would have been just before the war. She was over in Scotland. Still got a lot of nice color, and it's postmarked. Apparently, that Scotsman is taking a nap, which I think we all can use once in a while. Now, they also Esquire also sent up a lot of cards to the GIs, a lot of pinup girls um, that they would put on their masthead, and also... They said it was for morale, for the soldiers away from home. The first one are the Harrell girls. It was only for Esquire magazine. So these are a little, little more risque. Thinking about... This one's a little different course this must be for the farmers looks like Jane Russell actually this particular set looks like Lauren McCall to me I don't think it is at least this one's smiling I have no idea what she's laying on some sort of a polar bear Oh, it looks like she's laying on the same thing. But apparently in the 40s, this is how women just sat around the house. I'm not sure why. You can see they're all ESCII cards. The Harrell girls. These are also copyright in 1940. So this is before the war. But these were the pinups there for... Now, there was also some cartoons that came out. And some of the cartoons may not be appropriate for today, but they're just interesting cartoons and with little jokes. They were here to... You can see that this one was during the war, of course. Colorful. I must tell Henry about her. That way we'll stay another month. Particular. I'm not sure that these these are pretty dated cards here, but 
but they're interesting. Then we get to the more interesting cards, and that are the Varga Girls. They were painted by Varga, especially for Esquire magazine. Now, Mr. Varga, a lot of these, a lot of these pinup girls were you could see them on the fuselage of some of the some of the bombers. They would use these. Um, you can see that this also has navy symbol there. This is obviously and there's his signature. Let's see the different. These are all Esky cards. The Varga girls. These are actually from 1942. So these were these were meant more for the servicemen over there. Thinking about the women back home. Varga was actually blacklisted during the McCarthyism trials and he he did walk away from his job and he he lost a lot of the copyrights to the Varga name um, he was actually hired later by someone named Hugh Hefner to do some of his drawings but you can see the themes here are obviously World War II she, what she has is a sweetheart pin so if you were a, a pilot you had a sweetheart back home. They had sweetheart pins there. It's probably in the Army Air Corps. Um, you can see the different hats and the different things here. But they did use the pinups, and these are the some of the pinups are the kind of things that you'd see you'd see on the fuselage here. These are all drawings. They do get a little risque. I'm not sure. But if you look at old World War II um, planes, you'll see things like this painted on the sides of painted on the sides of uh, the planes. The hairstyle is awesome there. Definitely dated. This one, not sure. This looks like it could have been on a plane. We've got a some sort of Tarzan theme there. That must be Jane. This one at least has her eyes open. Of course, we even have an Egyptian. Now, she's smoking there. I'm not sure you can smoke inside the pyramids today. And there's a little wrap there. She must have been a mummy. Not sure. I'm sure she was somebody's mummy. This one's interesting because it's kind of dark. Snow with a red dress. Not sure. But you can see that these are uh, a little risque. And he was actually, Varga was actually brought up on obscenity charges. Esquire magazine was brought up on obscenity charges for these very... Photographs which they say objectify women, which I'm not sure anyone would disagree with. But at least he had a nice Thanksgiving Day one. There is a pilgrim and a bride playing a guitar. I'm not sure what we're supposed to, what the symbolism here. Of course, the pilgrim is smoking, which, as we know, pilgrims love smoking. And... Love getting married in high heels. That's not the pilgrims I remember, but this is what this is what they sent over to the troops. They're Esky cards. They're Varga girls. These particular cards, and a lot of cards like this, um, appeal to, a, of course, different collectors. You will get, you know, these are military. Ones that have post stamps, so we know that this was sent in 1938. With the dogs and as, as well as some of the scenery they're on good hard stock now there's not a lot of money in po postcards but these particular postcards are collectible they are in sets and I have a whole stack of them there's a couple of them I didn't show you because they were probably the reason that mr. Varga there's probably the stamp off that one Mr. Varga was brought up on obscenity charges. So when you have a stack like this, if they're worth two, three, four, five, even ten dollars a piece, they really do add up. 
I suggest you put them in a little envelope if you can get the sets together. But these are different collectibles that people like and just a cool piece of history as well. So if you don't mind, please subscribe and thanks for watching.